Hi everyone and welcome to Living Travel Adventures. On this episode we're trying some Native American food, so stay tuned and hope you enjoy. that my wife got for me is uh, a fried bread, which is known in uh, Native American culture. Fried bread with uh, braised shredded bi bison. It was cured for 13 hours. And they put like 10 spices in it to cure it. For 13 whole hours being cured and you could taste the, the bison I had the other day, the burger. Mm, you can taste how hot it is. I didn't get to go inside to order it. My wife did. She says it's like a subway where you know you pick the bread that you want and then you pick all the ingredients that go in it. It's very good, very flavorful. It's the first time eating uh, native food. Yes, native. Shows her respect. It's very good. So it's a fried bread. Look. Has pinto beans, shredded cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, the shredded bison. So this restaurant is owned by the Jacobs family, and they're part of um, this family is part of the Osage Nation, which is their tribe, owned by the Jacobs family. So thank you very much, Jacobs family. I'm enjoying it. It's very flavorful and fresh. Mm. Mmm. So see they got the cheese here. They got the beans over here. Well it's in the whole thing, but I've been cutting it. It's bread. The bread alone tastes pretty good. It reminds me of like a... I don't want to disrespect their bread, but the closest thing it reminds me of is like a chalupa type bread, right? It, it tastes ten times better than the chalupa bread though. No disrespect to the Jacobs family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the bread is nice and fresh. And it's a nice, clean oil fry. Taste. Clean oil, not old oil. I mean, taste the bison, the buffalo. Who knows what's the bison, buffalo? Is it like saying steak? Not the animal. So the animal's buffalo, but the meat is bison. I'm Google myself. I Google. I'm Google. What's the bison? Let's taste it. Mm. I said, mmm. Whatever those spices are that they put to, to cure the the bison. Some good flavors there. I don't know, it's like a cinnamony, cinnamony type flavor. The beans go perfect with the with the bison and the bread. And it also has green chilies. See, I want you guys to see. I can't really see. It is all the light in the back. Mm. Ooh. Spicy. It's a little, uh, not that spicy. It's a little, well, no, wait. Yes, it is. It's building. It's chilies alone. It's building. But my wife researched bison and buffalo are a little bit different. One is bigger than the other. So when we went to the burger spot the other day, it said buffalo burger, but it was a bison. So uh, you guys tell me. Put it down in the comments if you guys know. That's an evergreen elderberry. I don't know. What is this? A soda? Yeah, it's soda. It's made with sugar cane. I don't know if you guys can see it. Nature is pretty good too. I don't know if you guys remember or uh, whoever does know the Mystic sodas. Okay. Mystic, like the juice Mystic. They used to have sodas back in the day. It tastes just like it. it tastes mine. Cherry flavored soda. Well, it's, it's clear. Well, elderberry, but it tastes like cherry. 
So the name of it, uh, the Indian taco, was eating it like a taco, but I'm eating it like a job. If anybody else saw me, it's like eating a pizza, and then with a fork and a spoon. So I thought you were supposed to eat it. We are in Denver, eating Native American food. It's a blessing. And it's also a blessing that it tastes good. I'm gonna give you my Corey's, my Corey's opinion after, and give it some Corey points. But so far, so good. It has this flavor that I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it's like a very strong beefy flavor with like a little hit of liver, but not bad. Like, I know who, most people don't like liver. I don't either. It's like a beef and a little hit of liver like at the end. So it's, I, I like it. I like the mixture of that taste. Guys, let me tell you, the bison alone, let me get my rating. Bison alone. It's so soft and juicy and it's just tender. The bison, I'm gonna give it an eight. The bread. So that's the two things I'm gonna do since it's all together. I want to know how to make this bread. The bread I'm giving a nine. This bread is excellent. The kabi, the bread is excellent. I love it. I've been on the road in different states, and we always see signs saying, "Oh, come try Native American bread, like a fried bread." And we never go. This is our first time trying it, and I love it. Now I regret not going all the other times. Now a rating for the whole thing, the whole dish. Let me get the nice crunchy part of the bread. <laughs> together. We're ready. The whole meal. I'm gonna give it Corey points, and I'm gonna give it. I'm going to give it 9.0 quarter points. 9.0 quarter points, I'll try it again. Next time I'll try something different. See what happens when you're eating outside? Thank you, COVID. So yeah, 9.0 quarter points. It's gonna be like right here somewhere. 9.0, very good food. If you guys wanna try it, come to Takabi, Denver. I have two restaurants, Takabi, two restaurants. Native American food. Thank you guys. Whoever made this for me, I hope the Most High God blesses your hands. Very good. Very refreshing. The soda is good. Everything here is good. Nice. I would say nice and quiet, but we're right next to the street. It's probably like 30 feet away. Very good food. Come try it out. To the next video, guys, please, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'm gonna have to go take care of this dude. I'll be right back. Peace. Thank you for watching, and please like, subscribe, and comment.